Welcome to the show. I'm Junaid Jahangir. You're watching Inside News with Junaid Jahangir on, only on NJ Digital Television. So, uh, right here in the studios tonight, uh, I have a very uh, wonderful and gorgeous uh, Gurpreet Benz with me. Uh, I'm privileged for that. Thank you so very much. How are <laughs> you doing today? Thank you for you having good? me. I'm good. Yeah. That's nice. Cold, but Cold. good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like, like uh, somehow snowshoes and, you know. Yeah, I mean, we, we were out door-to-door -door canvassing before mm -hmm. we got here. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, any other shoes I had were not going to work with, with today's weather. I just wanted to get right. out there, quickly knock those doors. Exactly, because it's been windy uh, yeah. for a few days and then uh, uh, drizzling and rains, uh, the, the mixture of exactly. everything like that. So yeah. yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah. So how's been your experience before I ask you, uh, what made you come to this uh, beside your brother? Yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah. What else made you? But uh, I would like to ask you, so how's been your experience knocking doors, uh, convincing people, yeah. um, answering questions? How tough is that or how, how exciting is that? Well, I love people to people interaction. I love meeting people. I'm a social butterfly and uh, this has been the best part of all of this. Mm -hmm. Meeting the people that live here, uh, explaining what this role actually entails, yeah. telling them yeah. how important it is. Sorry to interrupt, but I really like that social butterfly. Uh -huh. It's even better than the Aristotle's social <laughs> animal, right? Yeah. So it's, it's better to <laughs> come towards social butterfly. Yeah, yeah. I like it. This well, you kind of have to be. I mean, this role, it, when you get into public service, you're, you're serving the community. So you have to constantly be engaged. Civic engagement is a big part of this. And I think that we've kind of been lacking when mm -hmm. it comes to our local government. Not enough people know that there's a Brampton election. Right. So what I've been noticing since mm -hmm. I've been canvassing is that I have to tell people, hi guys, there's an election. There is an election. And then so the second thing is, well, what are these four roles? I have to educate right. people on, you know, obviously I'm going to tell them about mine, but I also want them to vote for good candidates for the other three as Absolutely. well. And um, So your core uh, purpose is to educate them? to yeah. come out and vote so yes. that we have the turnout. But for so, the best candidates. So not you're not focused on yourself to vote you or you are just no, want no. people to of, come out and No, vote. I mean, of course I care about me. My role right. is very, very important. So my role is is to not only educate them about why you should vote for a regional councillor in wards two and six that is, you know, smart, that is passionate, mm -hmm. that cares about the community, that mm -hmm. cares about the so, issues. So those all are the your adjectives. <laughs> of course, you have to be. I mean, the, of course. I mean, these this right. this role controls. You know, when you turn on the light, mm -hmm. when you turn on your water, everything that happens in your city. You t you walk out onto your driveway, mm -hmm. and the snow being plowed, uh, the parks that you go to, what your your kids are are, are doing in school, uh, the regional roads that are happening, uh, being built here, the infrastructure, the jobs being created here, the the school being brought here, Ryerson University. That's all your municipal government so right. it's important that's very important in fact when you said that you experience that people even don't know they just uh, maybe they just imagine that there were some ele general election that's it the MPP election and the MP election and yeah this and that and they are not very well aware of the what city council does for them yeah right? we have a very bad turnout when it comes to our Brampton election mm -hmm. but people need to understand if you care about your city if you care about the future of your your city and your children and your family and and how this this the city grows moving forward this is that election where that happens every four years as well where you get to determine who's gonna represent you who's gonna represent your city and who's gonna think about the future and prepare us mm -hmm. for the future and take care of the issues that we have have right now right um, you know I think that the problem right now within wards two and six with the regional councillor mm -hmm. is that not enough is being done uh, and the correct decisions aren't being made that actually benefit the people that live in wards two and six and Brampton right. as a whole right. and that's why I decided to run the rise in crime here yeah okay. you know it's evident uh, youth violence is on mm -hmm. the rise mm -hmm. who's representing our youth Who's, re who's fighting for the seniors? Mm -hmm. Who's fighting for the community and the issues that we have mm -hmm. here in Brampton? Right. By community, I mean constituents. Right, right. You know? So I, I just would like to ask you about yeah. uh, why, uh, I, I understand that yes, these are the issues that yeah. you, you, you 
found yourself prepared to come out and just yeah. run for this city and work for the city, yeah. for the people. Yeah. But why not you thought about uh, uh, the MPP or the provincial role or the, uh, the MP, the federal role, so why not that right. and you, you chose this one? I'm a team player, mm -hmm. you know, I've always been a team player. It's not because I haven't a been asked to actually run for an MPP position before because I have, and also an MP position recently I have, but I, I like the fact that this is nonpartisan. You work with everybody, as our, our current council should have been doing, but instead they were fighting. Our, our reputation is poor because our we have a dysfunctional council that's mm -hmm. all, us constantly fighting with one another rather than you know, finding solutions and working together for Brampton. Okay. So why I want to do this is because you work with all of your MPs, MPPs, doesn't matter what party you're with, and you do it for the benefit of your city. Because okay. your city is your... your if, you, if you were to affiliate yourself with yeah. some party, yeah. what, which party would it be? There's absolutely no party that oh, yeah. I... There is no party yeah. that I feel uh, I align with. I think that there's, there's uh, policies within each and every party that I resonate with, okay. um, but I don't think that there's one party that I've ever felt like, you know what, that's the party that I, I, I bleed every but, single day. But, but your brother did, right? Who's even that? though, even though, even though we are, even though we are uh, uh, talking about you and your political yeah. activities, but yeah. who's was, my brother? I, you keep saying brother. Mr. Mr. Benz. I is know. That true? No. Is that true? No. Okay. There's, there's been, no uh, relation. There's been, <laughs> Thank there's, you, though. I mean, it's I a was, compliment for I mean, me, but no, there's no direct I relationship. Mean, yeah, there's no direct. <laughs> but it's been seen yeah. uh, out there. Have you have you heard that? No, we just have this? the same last name. Last there's actually name. That's, a that's lot of people reason. with the same last name. Right. There's actually no direct relationship. But before this incident, yeah. <laughs> what incident? You, this one that I I, I uh, aligned you with or uh, you said that he's Yeah, this whatever. is the first time I've actually okay. ever heard okay. this. I, I'm nice. very flattered mm -hmm. that the minister, uh, one of the ministers here in in Canada, is being connected to me. But no, there is absolutely no direct relationship. That's Nice. Uh, you know, I think he's. A, I, I'm sure he's a wonderful man. Uh, our families uh, are, know each other, but There's I, no I direct relationship. No direct that's, relationship. That's, no. that's nice to know. Yeah. So, what else in your family? Uh, yeah. They have political affiliations, or no? My family, my my parents, they came here in uh, around 1972, and my dad has a kitchen cabinet company. He works early mornings, late nights, uh, to give his family a better life. Mm -hmm. My mom. Uh, and I uh, uh, ran our practice together. I'm a lawyer, mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm not too far away from here. I've been practicing here in Brampton for five years. I grew up here, I live in Brampton, uh, and that's why I decided to run. I, I care right. about the city, I care <clears throat> about our future, and um, that's really it. I right. don't have any uh, prior uh, political aff affiliations. This is the first time I've ever decided to run, mm -hmm. uh, but it's because I felt compelled to take action into my own hands, mm -hmm. to fight for the people that live here right. because I don't think that enough is being done um, within our council uh, specifically in wards two and six by our current regional councillor for the people that live here, the residents. Right. So since many of the people who are opponents or uh, they belong to those opponents, they just uh, figure out people. They, they are prejudiced uh, probably for the people, of right? Of course. They, they are judgmental. Uh, regarding so it's been saying about uh, Patrick Brown Patrick Brown has been here he's right. running for um, a mayor of Brampton right so it's been saying for him that uh, he is uh, rehabilitating his political career of the he was he he were to become the premier of Ontario yeah. at that at, at one time but yeah. he had to step down yeah. and the, the board became so what do you think that shouldn't we shouldn't we uh, mature enough to not to uh, Join things with with people, well, affiliations, and this I mean, and that. like, you, like I, I, I mean, again, I think that it's based on the candidate. You need to pick. Constituents need to pick the best candidate that you feel is going to represent you and your beliefs. Right. Right. Everyone needs to be independent in their thoughts, mm -hmm. uh, be critical, right. uh, and pick people that are going to do the best job for Brampton because okay. that's what matters. We live right. here. Right. And and the people that you elect are going to work towards building a future for us, but also work on the issues that we have right so, now. So to the people who are running for uh, city council or yeah. for the mayor, or for, for representing people, mm -hmm. they they have to be living here in Brampton for so many years, or I if mean, they are newcomers, so how about those people? Here's I would take your answer, but right. before, before that, I'd like to uh, take here a break, a short break, and we'll come back. Stay tuned.
Are we ready? Okay. Hello, this is Dr. Sara. And today I'm going to make you a traditional Bombay biryani. For that we need tomatoes, onion, ginger, garlic, coriander powder, salt, meat. Ah. When you have Habib Chatfat, then cooking is done. Fatafat. This is the same ingredients. Then it will become a delicious MSG free food without any ginger. Huh? Did you get it? So quick. But how? Only Habib Chatfat. No ginger. Cooking Fatafat. Brandy Cool Hai Ke Gane Now open biggest store of 22 and 24 karat gold jewellery in Malton. Gold House Jewellers. New collection just arrived from Dubai, Pakistan and India. Call Shahid or Junaid. 905-672-0786. Purity is guaranteed. Gold House Jewellers. Watan Kebab and Universal Promotion presents tribute to Ustad Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan. Kabbali Night with Shahid Ali Khan and Kiran Sachdev. Music by Nadeem Ali of Avengers Production at Oasis Convention Center, Mrs. Saga. On October 12th, 8 p.m. Tickets $30, VIP $40. Lucky Draw, Diamond Ring by Fancy Jewelers. Food Court by Taza Chaiwala. For information, call 416-897-9911. This is the world of internet. You have everything on your computer and mobile screen. If you wish to promote your business through internet, especially to perfect target market, then you have just one reliable name, NJ Marketing. Offering various marketing solutions like social media marketing, telemarketing, email marketing, search engine optimization, graphic designing, web designing and development, and mobile application development. So call now at 647-824-1485 or Email at njmarketing15 at gmail.com or log on to njmarketing.ca. Welcome back. Uh, I'm Junaid Jahangir. You're watching Inside News with Junaid Jahangir. And here tonight we have uh, with us... Uh, and with you, Gurpreet Benz. So, Ms. Benz, as I asked you before yes. the break, so the people who are running for city council or for, for becoming a, a, a mayor, yeah. do they have to be living here for so many years or if they are newcomers, how about those people? Well, here's how I feel about it. I, I grew up here and I live here. And the issues that affect me and my family are the, are the issues that affect the people that I'm gonna serve. So it's important to understand those issues to better serve them. Uh, that's how I feel. Um, but again, that's up to the people to decide, right? Okay. If they don't feel like that's a, you know, a, a contributing factor to a good candidate, that's up to them. Mm -hmm. But uh, on my end, I, I, hope that, I hope that people pick uh, a candidate that actually understands uh, you, you know, the issues, breathes the same air, drinks the same water, you know, is, is consumed by the same issues. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and that's really up to them, but that's right. how I feel. Uh, one more thing uh, or factor that, that could affect this campaign or the elections or yeah. the turnout, whatever, that so many immigrants are coming daily. Yeah. They're coming every day. Absolutely. Full of planes and they're coming, they're immigrating, right they are proud the of it. They are yeah. proud to become becoming uh, the immigrants or the residents yeah. or permanent residents or citizens yeah. eventually. But they're not very much educated about that as we discussed in the first part of the show. Uh, about so what? About that, uh, what the role is of uh, city council, they also the, the can't, provincial government. So unless they, unless they're citizens, they can't vote. So can vote, that's yeah. also another factor. Yeah. Yeah. So they have to be a citizen to of run course. for. Yeah, and, and over eighteen. This is the at least. Yeah, yeah. this is the minimum requirement. One and live within the ward that they need to vote. And for. eighteen years and older, yes. right? <laughs> this and that. So yeah. you're eighteen, more than eighteen. I'm years. definitely over eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing just a, for a, just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> a few weeks. <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, everybody yeah. who is running for either councillor or or mayor or um, trustee or yep. the regional yeah. uh, councillor. So they are uh, claiming the same things. Insecurity is there, um, the crime is rising, mm -hmm. uh, the violence is there, mm -hmm. the, the, the traffic, 
the transit, mm -hmm. and employment, yep. investment, yep. and property taxes, yeah. right? And the auto insurance, and the although that's not within everything. our jurisdiction, yeah, but yes, it's not. But yes, so everybody is claiming this who yep. is running. Yep. How to how difficult you find is for the voter to distinguish. Right. Between the, the, the I, I, I don't think it's difficult at all. I, people know what their issues are. People yeah. understand exactly what their problems are. They know that they've been promised, that people are, have come by their houses and promised they're going to reduce their auto mm -hmm. uh, insurance. They've been, uh, promised that the, the property tax they're going to get freezed. I'm sorry, I'm not here to make any false promises. Mm -hmm. I can tell you what I will do and advocate for when I'm elected. I can tell you that I've created policies and mm -hmm. ideas that I think would be really great, but until we have a new council that works together, until we have a council that, that wants to do better for, for Brampton, it's going to be really difficult to, to get a lot of these things done that people are promising. A lot of other candidates are promising, I'm going to mm -hmm. freeze your mm -hmm. taxes and I'm going to, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. but I'm sorry, but how do you intend to do that? Okay. Realistically, how do you intend to do that? Mm -hmm. Right now, um, six council members, including the one that I'm running against, voted against having an independent auditor general, a hired independent auditor general. Mm -hmm. Now, what that means is they would tell us where our property taxes are being spent. Mm -hmm. That would better educate not only the council members, but the rest of the population that lives here in Brampton on right. how the money's being spent. Then we can evaluate how to be more efficient and effective with the money that we're collecting. Do we really need to increase it? Um, when you look at our neighbors in Mississauga, for instance, just as an example, um, they collect, uh, I believe, uh, don't quote me on this, I believe it's about a little bit over 60% of their tax from businesses. from businesses. We okay. collect the same amount from residents. residents. We need to change that. That's mm -hmm. why economic development is so vital to Brampton. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to, ch to, uh, to shift that with a new council, attract that business here to Brampton. In order to do that, we need to improve the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. That's also mm -hmm. one of the regional councillor's mm -hmm. uh, jobs. Um, so yeah, get the Brampton back on track? Well, I mean, good? you know what? Whatever it <laughs> takes. The fact is, we need to improve the city that we live in. Okay. I sleep okay. here. This is this is where I intend to to raise a family one day. Right. I want this for the future. Our average age here is 35. You know, we have a very young city. It's the mm -hmm. sa second fastest growing city in all of North America. Mm -hmm. Like until we have a council that is thinking about the future, actually planning for the future now, so that we're not constantly playing catch up. Uh, we're not going to be able to, to prepare for the future, and I, I honestly think that, that the impact could be catastrophic. Right. So uh, even though it's not within that uh, city council jurisdiction yeah. about the auto insurances yeah, and yeah, the, yeah. The, the discrimination, which is, you know... Uh, uh, Evident. The, the, the residents are penalized. I don't know why. Well, the, the excuse is people, that we yeah. have a lot of fraudulent uh, claims here. That is unacceptable so it, it comes to the the it, it could be discrimination towards some ethnic community or so towards some community I see, because that's not a judgment most of i the, could ever make most of the indian punjabi or sardar uh, so i do i have the leverage to speak you to no. speak with you in, in punjabi uh, yeah, absolutely okay, okay. Zuru, but right. uh, but eh jodi issue uh, i think yeah <laughs> eh, eh jodi issue hai ki uh, main ਇਦਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਹਿ ਸਕਦੀ ਕਿ ਇੱਕ ਐਥਨਿਕ ਗਰੁੱਪ ਤੇ ਟਾਰਗੇਟ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਗੋਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਇੰਨਾ ਚਾਰਜ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਕਾਲਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਇੰਨਾ ਚਾਰਜ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਐਵਰੀਬਾਡੀ ਇਜ਼ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਚਾਰਜ ਦ ਸੇਮ ਵੈਨ ਇਟ ਕਮਸ ਟੂ ਆਟੋ ਟਰਨਸ ਇਟਸ ਯੂਰ ਪੋਸਟਲ ਕੋਡ ਥੈਟਸ ਹਾਊ ਦੇ ਚਾਰਜ ਯੂ ਐਂਡ ਥੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਰੋਂਗ ਥੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਐਬਸੋਲਿਟਲੀ ਰੋਂਗ ਐਂਡ ਐਜ਼ ਅ ਕਾਉਂਸਲ ਵਾਟ ਆਈ ਵਾਟ देयर ਵਾਸ ਅ ਟਾਊਨ ਹਾਲ ਮੀਟਿੰਗ ਥੈਟ ਵਾਸ ਡਨ ਬਾਈ ਟੂ ਕੈਂਡੀਡੇਟਸ ਥੈਟ ਆਰ ਰਨਿੰਗ ਇਨ 1 ਐਂਡ 5 ਐਂਡ ਥੀ ਆਈ ਲਵਡ ਥੇਅਰ ਆਈਡੀਆ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਥੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਡੂ ਅ ਪਟੀਸ਼ਨ Right. Uh, get everybody uh, uh, that lives within Brampton to sign this petition, get a legal team together, uh, take it uh, to our M local MPPs and get the job done. We need to lobby as a council right. to show that council cares about Brampton, council cares about the yeah. people here. So they, they really represent the issues and the people. And we fight so to get a better they, Brampton. They can here. raise the voice uh, against this penalized. We need to. Penalized. That's our job. That's right. our job. We're supposed but to But it's advocate. not been done so far. That's why it's we need to done. vote. And I wonder that why people are claiming themselves to re-elect them. It's written over there at the right or left side, the re-elect, yeah. this and that. Yeah. So I don't know what they delivered so that they are asking again. Yeah, I mean, the, the person that I'm running against, he said that when it came to the rising crime, which is a big issue for me, I, I know four people personally that have mm -hmm. been murdered here in Brampton, all very young. And this is alarming. 
it's, it's, it's terrifying, right? When I go door to door, young families are, are like, what, what's happening? I don't feel safe. The second issue is speeding. Speeding is a big problem in, in our city. Reckless driving everywhere. So how do we how do we create more road safety? Both mm -hmm. issues are, are are obviously prevalent here. Right. But in order for us to combat that, as a regional councillor, you meet with Peel Regional Police. General public is not privy to who's committing these crimes. Mm -hmm. We don't have those details. They are experts in the field. You need to work with them. You need to work with the community. Get more community engagement. Create, uh, uh, you know, build the community so that they have community leaders that can be the eyes and ears mm -hmm. of every pocket and we can work as a team. We have to work together. Exactly, work together and uh, the thing that, that since the, this is uh, not uh, the political based election, so everybody is a uh, sort of uh, independent uh, candidate exactly. and uh, represent people and the yep. people and their constituencies. Yeah. So, but do you think that there could be an issue of unanimity in the council? That everybody is There is one right now. <laughs> Right, yeah. so the unanimity has to be there, yeah. so that uh, don't debate on the, the public interests. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And make it unanimous. Yeah. And then raise the voice. You're right. You're right. Yes, there are certain members that definitely work together, but unfortunately, they are there's because two eventually, blocks that if just they are there, yeah. they are representing the people, and That's they are it. even they are yeah. suffering the same problems. Exactly. And they are still debate on. I, I think what would be great is if we got more civic engagement. Communicate. Communication is the most important thing in today's day and age, and there is just not enough when it comes to our local government. People need to understand what the key issues are. Ed, be educated in maybe their own language, which is what another counselor did in three and four, Martin Badiros. Mm -hmm. uh, when he was uh, in his term this last four years, he wanted to spread whatever was happening in council within different languages that were uh, the, the vast majority uh, um, in his wards uh, and send out material that way. Okay. It's very important to get people involved and understand what the issues are and get them to give their opinions as well because okay. we need to listen. Mm -hmm. What is the problem? What are people facing? Mm -hmm. How do we fix it? So what do you think on uh, if, if uh, one of the candidates uh, is campaigning yeah. that will be making a cupboardy ground and they're persuading their the community yeah. to vote yeah. right so that's a good uh, good approach to, and, and they would be eventually doing that for the for the people since we see that Punjabi is uh, yeah. one of the languages that is heard being heard on yeah. at the airport right mm -hmm. so what else could it be done? Because when it comes to Brampton, it comes to Mini Punjab, it comes to the, the specific community, it comes oh, to no. our beautiful community. Oh no, I think, community. oh my God, Brampton is so diverse. It is. Brampton is ridiculous. Still it is, uh, it, as but symbolic that's, that's a for, perception. That's a okay. perception. Okay. When you look at the stats, it's actually Could you tell the, the, the percentage of uh, the Punjabi community? I actually do have the percentages. Okay. I don't have it on me right now, but I know okay. that there's Rebecca a would have. Yeah. She's yeah. Your Re right hand, Rebecca right? is my right hand. <laughs> she can definitely tell me. But there is actually um, there is actually such a diverse community here. Okay. I have been door knocking. I have met people of all ethnic backgrounds. The commonalities are more um, prevalent than the differences. Okay. People here want the same things. So I don't think if, if there's if there's a community that wants a different sport highlighted, which for instance basketball, basketball is universal. There's okay. so many sports that cross boundaries of ethnic groups. Mm -hmm. So as kabaddi. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there's it's, it's there's in Punjabi, it's yeah. in Pakistan, it's in India. Exactly, it's in exactly. exactly. I don't think it's a certain ethnic group. I think sport actually brings people together. Okay. Sport is like one of those beautiful things that our youth can engage in and actually, you know. Uh, mentally, physically benefit, benefit from and will help them build healthy relationships that may last them forever, right? Okay. This is a great thing. Um, so sport is definitely something that I'd like to push for. I think that our community centers, there's not enough of them. I want more. Okay. I want the programs that are there to be increased to allow uh, more families to enjoy them, more children to enjoy the programs and make them uh, as affordable as possible so that okay. it's available. One of the issues that we counter here is uh, the illegal basements. That lodging Brampton, is a big right? issue. This is, is one of the issues and uh, the people are not, uh, I mean they are not that handful to make it legal, it, it costs so right, much. Illegal business, so yeah. what, what do yeah. you think that uh, to address this issue? Right, so that's once again it's like a bylaw issue, right? So that's something that once I'm in there we got to figure out, you know, um, you know, what are the stats, where is this happening, how do we improve the situation, okay. you know, there's, I imagine that it's difficult because of the bylaws. I, I imagine that it's difficult to, to pass those laws. And I think that 
Um, that's something I'd like to become more informed on and really educate the community okay. on how to get through that red tape okay. um, and, and, and why it's because the way it is. Because one of the suggestions were to, uh, the city council could give them loans, easy loans, so, so that they can return, so that the city council would be able to earn and then at the same time, and there would be one of the, one of the councillors candidate came here and they... Uh, yeah, I don't know how viable that is. I, that is. I don't because know if that's if, a viable solution. If the city solution. council is uh, becoming bank or the, uh, the loaning authority or institutions. So yeah, what, I don't the, think that that's going to happen, that's, to yeah. be honest. It yeah. just doesn't seem like a, a real solution. Mm -hmm. um, I think affordable housing is a big issue here in Brampton. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that that would be one way of, of solving that issue. But uh, and, and that would be within my jurisdiction yeah. as well. And that's something I, I intend to advocate because for Because you're, you're very right on the security issue because whenever the immigrants come, here in Canada, uh, to them, there is no di difference between Vancouver, there is in security wise or uh, the, the economy wise or the opportunity wise, yeah. the Oakville or Brampton or Milton or Mississauga. For them, it is Canada. Yeah. And for us, it is no, this is that jurisdiction, those schools are not that good, we have to send our children to those areas, we have to shift, we have to move, this and that. Yeah. So this discrimination, what we are doing, we're, because we have to make, we have to work to make Every city, every jurisdiction, every part, every ward, every constituents, yeah. the same. Yeah, we, we have need to, to have be a better equal. Brampton, for sure. Right. And right. for everybody that lives here. Anybody that wants to make Brampton their home should feel like they're benefiting from being here and want to contribute to making Brampton better. Yeah. We need to make uh, you know, starting small businesses more accessible. We need to make um, you know, e every service that's available here more accessible and, and educate people on all the wonderful qualities that mm -hmm. are here in Brampton. Um, you know, there's so many parks and recreations to, to enjoy, but you know, I, I, like I, when we went back to, to you know, these issues with immigrants, I think they need support too. You know, they come here for a better life and um, I think that you know, a small group of individuals may have done a few things that labeled the whole vast majority absolutely. of them in a way, and that is wrong. Absolutely. That That's is wrong. absolutely wrong. And it is the high time to, to make it wrong, to counter it, and yeah. make the Brampton as a, uh, the synonym for Canada. The synonym I, the for the model city. The diversity. The yeah, American we, culturism. we are awesome. There are, are awesome. so many great things here in Brampton. We are awesome. You are I'm, awesome. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Make and, sure uh, you come out and vote on October 22nd. There's nine advanced polling dates prior to that. Go to www.votebains.com to get more information or call me at 647 mm -hmm. 822 4238. Follow me on Facebook or or Instagram at Vote Baines, uh, but please make sure you come out and vote. Vote for the best candidate. Vote for Gurpri Baines uh, in wards two and six because I am the best candidate there. Um, but but do make sure you 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 look at that ballot and you 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 look at those candidates and figure out what's best for you and what's best for Brampton because that's what matters. That's what matters, and uh, to you, uh, Gurpri Baines matters, right? <laughs> so thank you so much for watching us. Uh, stay tuned to NJ Digital Television. बेस्ट ड्राइव टूर एंड ट्रैवलिंग पेश करते हैं दस रोजा उम्र पैकेज लोइस प्राइस इन टाउन मक्का और मदीना में फाइव स्टार होटल में क्याम विद ब्रेकफास्ट एंड डिनर मुकदस मकाम की जियारत वीजा प्रोसेसिंग ट्रांसपोर्टेशन एंड ग्रुप लीडर इंक्लूडेड ओनली इन ट्वेंटी वन हंड्रेड नाइन्टी डॉलर थ्री एंड फोर स्टार होटल पैकेजेस ऑल्सो अवेलेबल कॉल फोर वन सिक्स नाइन जीरो थ्री नाइन टू फाइव जीरो फोर वन सिक्स नाइन जीरो थ्री नाइन टू फाइव जीरो और ट्रिपल डब्ल्यू डॉट बेस्ट लाइफ ट्रेवल डॉट कॉम exclusive multi designer studio specialized in wedding planning services bridal wear casual party wear jewelry shoes purses dupattas men's and kids clothes you name it we have it some of the pakistani designer labels we carry are sani k aganur sana sapinas and asapra zainab chutani wahaj khan fatma khan and many more Parahan Sheer Elegance. We believe in quality service and best price. You can contact 9075 Derry Road West, Unit Number One, Milton, Ontario. A criminal charge can be an ugly and nasty surprise. Don't let bad decisions or unfortunate circumstances take control of your life. The criminal lawyers at Alam Law Chambers will listen to your story and develop the best defense for you. Nothing in life is more important than your freedom. Reliable and affordable, Alam Law.
मैं हूं जहांगीर खान स्क्वाश कोर्ट का चैंपियन लेकिन रियल स्टेट इन्वेस्टमेंट का चैंपियन मोहम्मद कामरान हुसैन मुझे उन पर यकीन है आप भी करके देखिए जहांगीर खान और हजारों क्लाइंट्स का चहेता मोहम्मद कामरान हुसैन रेजिडेंशियल प्रॉपर्टीज और इन्वेस्टमेंट दोनों के लिए ही सही मशवरा सही फैसला मकान जिसे आप अपना घर कहने में फख्र महसूस करेंगे मोहम्मद कामरान हुसैन फोर वन सिक्स थ्री वन एट फाइव टू सिक्स फोर रंग वाली भरम वाली न्यूज वाले व्यूज वाले भेल वाले मेल वाले कराची वाले खैबर वाले